Hi guys, my name is Gina Gems Girl and welcome to my sim town. As most of you may know, I lost my game save and the wonderful people at Fire Monkeys and Sims Replay kindly gave me a new level 55 game save. If you don't know the whole story about how I lost my game, I'll maybe put some links down below or on the screen now. You can check out those videos if you want. What I wanted to do before I kind of start making this world my own, I wanted to kind of just do a quick tour and show you what I was actually given. So like going inside all of the houses and seeing what they are all like. And then I can start kind of demolishing them and refurbing them and things as I want to. So I think I'm going to start off in the bottom left corner. As you can see, I've got an empty slot there and another one that actually needs building. It hasn't been built yet. All of the community buildings have been built in this world save. As we go up here, you will see like by the fire station, we have a house that has been built. We'll look at these three houses here. We'll go in this one first. So this one is one of the first houses that we actually can buy in the game. I've obviously made a few additions. I've got some of my sims doing some hobbies. They weren't here. Uh, but yeah, this is just a standard house. Nothing particularly special. Oh, well, actually, it's been given a second floor. We don't normally have a second floor with it. It's been given a second floor. Okay, there we go. I didn't even know that. The house on the other side of the fire station is this blue one here. Oh, and we have like a little sci-fi house. Oh, a sci-fi house. And then upstairs, oh, we've got a robot dog. Oh, cool, we've got a robot dog. Or a cat, I should say. We have a robot cat here. This is a pre-built house, is it? I think it's a sci-fi pre-built house with an extra floor on. I like that though. I wonder actually if I have access to the transporter things. Where are stairs? Stairs. Can I build? No. Oh, I haven't got them. That's a shame. Never mind. And then here is the third house. So this house, ooh. This is a one story but it's got a lot of the Scandinavian, Scandinavian furniture in which is excellent because that's all for LPs and it's got some of these kitchen stuff like these kitchen units these are LPs as well so that's a nice house to have I love these lamps as well they're LPs or SPs one of the two yeah I'm pleased with that house oh and it's got two of these lamp not lamps like decorative things, vase things. So that is those three houses. We'll spin around and we'll check out these houses here which are just north of the park. We'll start, let's start here. This house, I feel like I've seen it before. Would it possibly be an architect's house or something? Oh, it's got a, a bar and stuff. It's quite, yeah. But quite a few things. I won't be keeping this house, I don't think that I will be demolishing it. But it's got quite a few quite a few things there. Actually it's quite a nice build, to be honest, from the, the design of it. Like it looks quite nice, doesn't it? I think anyway. Okay, going along we have a ice house here. And there is not much going on with this house at all. There is just a little bit of ice furniture and it is snowing. The next house along here, there doesn't seem too much going along here either. Let's take a little look. Oh, there's more than I thought was going on. Oh, we've got the purple. I never unlocked the purple tent in my previous game save. Oh, we've got a camp. I never unlocked those either, did I? The campfire and the storytellers hobby. We've got some of the, I should probably, I mean, no, I'll leave them for now. Oh, we've got the events, the arts and crafts things here. Do we go up? I mean, this is just, there's nothing really here, but okay. Oh, we've got some sleeping bags there. Yeah, that will probably be, oh, I've got the red flowers. <gasps> that is one of the best things I actually got with this game save was the red items, like the red piano, the red flowers. Amazing. I didn't have that in my previous game. I can actually buy them as well. So if I go into trees, plants and flowers, the red flowers should be here, I think. The red piano is there for me to buy. So I'm assuming, oh, are the red flowers not there? I'm sure that I can buy 
the piano. Let's go in the is it living room. Yeah, you see, grand piano, red. I can buy that there, bottom left. Why can't I buy the flowers? Well, I'm not sure about the red flowers, but I have got the red flowers. And then we'll go, we'll go into this house here, which is a Christmassy house. We've got a lot of the candy cane. Oh, I'm so glad we've got some of these items, Christmas stuff, because I'd like stocked up on so many Christmas items. We've got the living teddy bears there. Somebody actually commented, we've got loads of living teddy bears. Somebody commented whether I have my like my purchases, because I obviously I'm a VIP 8. I had purchased quite a few things over the years in Sims 3 for like the clothes and certain things. I'm not entirely sure to be honest if I have got them or not. I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. But yeah, this is just a Christmas house with quite a lot of oh, it's like a donut shape. Quite a lot of the Christmassy stuff. That's nice to have. The next house is this one here. Looks very familiar. What is this house? I think it's a, a pre-built design that you can uh, that you can have. We've got a little puppy there. I have got all of the pets and things, by the way, if you were wondering. I've got access to like, the, the dragons, the, uh, the fairies, the dogs, the kittens, all of that stuff. Oh, we've got one of those computers. They're my favourite computers. And then the last of the standard size houses in this little group of houses is this one, which again seems familiar, but I don't know where I've seen it. Is it? A, I don't think it's a pre-built house. Possibly these are like architect homes from past. I don't know. We have one of those gaming computers. We've got a little fairy there. And then let's move over to the premium lots here. We've got four premium lots. Here is the first one. Ooh. Ooh, we've got a couple of wedding arbors. Oh, this is nice. We've got a pool outside with some slides. And oh, Latin, some Latin furniture or Latin fireplace at least, anyway. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen those drawers before. Is that part of the red collection? Possibly. Thanksgiving table there. Let's oh, is that the red lamp, maybe? Don't know. I've got a Sonic Air. Let's go down into the basement. Ooh, loads of things down there. Excellent. We've got a random... I think this is, must have been an architect home or something. Because this has been glitched or something. There's some sort of error with this, uh, <laughs> this thing here. Don't know what that's all about. Let's go up. And ooh, oh, there was actually another. There was another red piano here that I've just taken out. There's two red pianos in here. Those are the SP stuff. Oh, and these, I love these. I didn't actually have these in my game. This furniture is so cute. I think it was available to buy for real money. But I think possibly it's all sort of evened itself out. So if I haven't got the things that I bought, like the clothes, then like I've got some other stuff instead. So I mean. I can't really complain, as soon as they have given me a new game, and it was my own stupid fault that I lost my phone, so I ain't gonna complain at all. Okay, yeah, wow, that, this house is really quite big. But that is that house. Here is the next premium sized house, and oh my goodness, someone's been doing a lot of cooking in here, probably working on the cooking hobby for LPs, I think. Uh, wedding Arbor. Don't seem to have anything spectacular here. I recognise this house. Was it? I think it possibly was a Sims Free Play designed one. When uh, when they did the DIY update, I feel like that was like one of the pic these are one of the pictures that they put out. Possibly. We've got the third of the premium lot here, and again, this is very familiar. I've seen this house before. Is it a kind of a... Oh, I don't know, my brain gets... too many houses that I've seen in Sims 3 Play now. Uh, but there doesn't seem to be anything massively like rare or anything in here. But Yeah, this is just this house. Does it go up again? Oh, wow. It goes up again. Another one of those computers, which I like. Huge house. 
And the last house in this little section, wow, is a premium size Latin villa with a police car outside. And it has got, oh, this is the villa when you do the dance to a member quest. This is where you come over, isn't it, and do the dancing in this room here. Wow, yeah, loads of Latin furniture. This is fantastic. It's got like a little... Uh, sunroom at the back maybe, does it go up? No, it doesn't go up, just a one floor. That's really nice though, loads of Latin furniture in that. Okay, let's move over to the other side across the bridge and we will check out these six houses. So we'll start, um, where should we start? We'll start on the smaller lots. Well, this is just the wizard's, the wizard's cottage pre-built house that you can build. I like this lot. I like how like the leaves on the floor and that. It's cool. Second of the smaller lots and we have this. It's really huge actually. It goes up. Oh no, not as huge as I thought it was actually. <laughs> I lied. Um, hot tubs on the top. Are these all individual houses? Yeah, I think these are all individual. Individual like flats. Pretty cool. I like this. There's a little pool in the center. This is really nice. We've well, got like the kitchen downstairs and then the lounge upstairs. I like this. I might may sound like kind of keep this, but like redecorate it slightly. The last of the smaller lots hasn't been built yet. Let's move up to the premium ones. The first premium lot is this spooky haunted house, which is, yes, yeah, the pre built. Pre-built spooky house, the haunted house that you can build. When you build it on a premium size lot, you kind of you get this pool in the back garden. Here is the second house, and this looks like the DIY homes house. Yeah, this is the DIY homes house. It's not been altered in any way, so it, yeah, it's just that house, which is a nice house. I like that house. I may kind of keep it but renovate that house. And the last of, oh, I need to look after this sim. He's not very happy at all. The last of the houses is the French Chateau, which I haven't really seen at all, to be honest. Because my, my whole phone got lost around that time, I think, when the French Chateau event was out. I haven't really seen any of the stuff for it. But, oh, we've got a, a basement. It's a really nice build. I like this house. I like the kind of the lot when you build it. It looks nice. Okay, so let's move down. Are they all that? No, I think there's a couple of houses back here. Yeah, there's a couple of houses back here. We have... Let's go into this one. This one looks like a gingerbread house. In fact, I don't think I've been in this one yet. Okay, this is just full of gingerbread furniture and a fairy and... A little living bear. Tiny little basement that's not doing anything. And kind of half started building something up here. And this one is the skate park house. It's the last house on mainland. I don't think it's been renovated, has it? Oh yes, we don't have an upstairs. Yeah, it's got a, well, the beginnings of an upstairs. The skate park house. And we have the surf van. We have the surf van out the front which is cool. And that is everything on the main sim town. If you want to know anything else about the game save do leave a comment down below and I will try and answer. But as you can see I have the red uh, monument thing that you could only get if you competed in the red event. My sim town sign over here is completed which I think I was pretty much on way to completion anyway there's maybe like one other thing that i needed to complete it all my sim town mall has been completed as you can see everything has been built all the shops have been built and everything which i had already done the three careers so the police the medical and the film career are all still in progress none of them are completed at the moment which i'm quite pleased about to be honest because it kind of gives me something to do within the game and i hadn't completed them Anyway, as you can see, I'm working on them. My police station is like 89.9% complete. My film studio is 72.1% complete. 
And my hospital is 36.8% complete. So yeah, like I said, I'm really happy about that. I can continue working on these things. And that completes this little tour of my sim town as it currently stands. Now I can start making it my own and kind of demolishing things, which I'm really looking forward to doing. I've kind of been sitting on the game for about a week, uh, not really wanting to do anything before I recorded this video. But I will record a video of what is over on my mysterious island. I will link that down below when it is done. But yeah, like I said, any questions that you have about this game save or anything that you may have Sims Free Play related, leave them down below in the comments and I will try to get to them as soon as possible. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye!